to do during the game. Hail adventurers and treasure seekers! Welcome to How to Be a Better RPG Player on Saving Throw Show. I'm Amy Vorpal, and today we're talking about the playing of the game. Obviously, you know or you'll figure out how to actually play the game, but these six tips will help you make the most out of your time at the table. So here we go! Read the room. Just wanted to make a blanket statement that every group is different, and while you're at the table, you're part of a problem-solving team, emphasis on team, but also on solving, and if I can emphasize one other word, it'd be problem. Anyway, interpersonal relationships have a lot of gray area to, to interpret, so when in doubt, why at the table, simply consider others. Know what to expect. Know what to expect, know and trust that your GM is doing their darndest to give everyone a moment to shine. If it's not your moment, don't worry, you'll get yours in a good way. Also know that you'll get some seconds to describe what you do, some minutes to determine dice rolling, outcomes, effects, adding to the story, etc. And then it'll be the next person's turn. Sometimes there's a lot of waiting, so be patient. P.S. There are some caveats that go along with this, but as a general statement, I don't think checking your phone makes you a bad player. Take notes, write some stuff down. Maybe not everything, but remembering character and location names is an easy way to let the other players and the GM know that you're invested in the world she has built. Play your character dumber or smarter than you are. If there's an obvious choice, take a risk beyond what's on the printed page or on your character sheet. The most delightful trait of new players is that they don't know what they can or can't do. So strive for that naivety and never fear failure. Break the mold of what your character usually does. Once you're in your groove, find a good reason to act differently. Outside of character is subjective because people are three-dimensional and your character can be too. Let them act in different ways in different situations. Let them grow and change and let them surprise you. It's what my character would do is often an excuse for a player to make a somewhat story destroying or partner bashing choice. So before making a choice like this, go meta. It's one of the times when meta is good. And try something else. You're the boss of your character, not the other way around. So while you're doing something new and different, be open to consequences. You're not standing on the side of the pool, you're jumping in, you just might make some waves. Make decisions quickly. All the prep work you've done won't prepare you for everything your GM throws at you. Remember, no matter what you decide, adventure will happen. Try to keep a good balance of strategizing and acting impulsively. Leroy Jenkinsing sure helps move the story forward, but at what cost to your fellow characters? And we're back to read the room. Full circle, I'm good like that. And now it's time for a player shout out. I'd like to highlight a player who is a joy to have around the table because of their attention to detail and dedication to how much fun everyone is having. So check out Michael Holmes on the show Garden of Good and Evil. Thanks again for watching. I'd love to know what you think. What else can you do during the game to help everyone have a great time? Tell us in the comments below and as always, feel free to ask questions. Remember to like, subscribe, and tap a tap a tap on the little bell for notifications when we drop new videos. See you next time at a tabletop near you. Bye!